In this Wix website builder tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can customize your invoices. And so if we click on our site and we go into the site dashboard, in the lower left-hand corner, we're going to find our settings area. And so inside of settings, we have different business settings and somewhere in here, you're going to find invoices and quotes. So we click on invoices and quotes and we can manage all preferences across quotes and invoices, taxes, any other general details like company ID, etc. There's an invoices tab here. If we click on that, we can actually edit our invoice. And that's kind of what this tutorial is about. And so we can see an example of the invoice on the right hand side. Now, if you've added business information, you'll find your business logo, your business name, uh, location, email, and all this different stuff over here. But then we can drop down, for instance, header details, and we can decide uh, what we want this to be numbered as or labeled as. So this document name and number, is it invoice, tax invoice, or adding a custom name? And then we have invoice number as well. So you can edit the invoice number. You know, if you don't want to start it in like a bunch of zeros and a one, you can start at like 1000 and work your way up from there or something like that. You can edit the logo in your business settings. And then also you have different header fields. So the issue date and the due date, they have to be in there. And then you can choose other fields to add in as well, like a tracking number, sales representative, anything like that. Now that's your header details. And so under business info, that's going to pull in any business info from your business info uh, settings. So edit business info will take you over there and you can just edit that as you need or add it and input it there. You can also provide additional information here and add some custom fields to this section if you want to. Now the tax display. So this is kind of like how tax um, or how to show tax on this invoice. You can have an additional tax column if you'd like or the tax breakdown in the total section, which is probably the most common way to add tax right before the total down here. And then you can also just item subtotal per tax group. So there's different ways you can do taxes on here and you can adjust that display inside of that area. Now payments received, you can show transaction details. That's gonna be scrolling down, that's gonna be here at the bottom, uh, or you can have that turned off. And then you can add in some footer notes. So if you wanna add in anything down here, like just a thanks for your order or a payment due within 20 days, you know, just being able to specify some terms down there, you can adjust what those say with these edit buttons right here and just add in whatever you want. And so that's how you can really customize and then save, make sure you hit that blue save button when it pops up if you've made any changes. Uh, but that's how you can really con uh, customize your invoices here uh, through any online payment request or payment confirmation system, really depending on uh, your business use and you know what apps or what system you utilize on your website. That's how you can edit your invoices here on Wix.